Diamond channel, welcome. Right, it's going to start by saying thank you to a new patron. We've got uh, Marquetta Breslin. Thank you very much, Marquetta. Um, yeah, asking for patrons on the channel because the financial contributions, contributions really do enable me to continue making videos. So I'm making the videos, I help people looking to learn to make jewellery, and then the patrons help me, so it's a nice little, little circle of life. <laughs> Yeah, today I'm going to show you some soldering of brass. Not really for jewellery, but I wanted to learn to work in brass because I've got some artwork ideas and I could do some of my ideas in silver, but other bigger ones, not practical. It's going to cost me thousands of pounds of, in silver to actually to actually build them. So I need a cheaper material. did have some success with aluminium, but it's so hit and miss with getting the joins nice. Sometimes they look nice and they just pull apart again. Sometimes you feel like you're not putting enough heat on and all of a sudden the metal melts. Too difficult, too on the edge getting joins to work. So I kind of gave up with aluminium really. A lot of work for, for how difficult it is. Uh, anyway, so I wanted to work in brass. I can get these big square chunks of brass, don't cost hardly anything, um, but I couldn't get anything to work, couldn't join them. Try loads of stuff. I bought that on a website. It says uh, copper alloys and brass. It's supposed to work. Worked terrible. Total waste of money. This one as well. Supposed to work on brass. Didn't work at all. Uh, you can get silver solder to join brass, but it's the flux I'm having trouble with. So anyway, I saw on a hobbyist Japanese YouTube channel the guy is joining brass bits together, uh, like a model train he was building, and I saw this on his bench. I was like, ah, okay. So. It looked familiar to what I'd seen on the website when I was buying this. So I went back to the website where I got these from and then sure enough I saw that in stock. So okay, I bought that. White flux. <laughs> so it is. Just white flux. So my, my Japanese reading ability is kind of limited, so I'm using Google Lens to check it out. Yeah, it just says white flux. White flux, flux. All purpose flux. <laughs> High quality flux. <laughs> uh, on the side, white flux. Easy to use, you'll understand once you use it. A fine paste like flux. It's flux, it's just white flux. I can't, can't really tell you anything more than that than what I already knew. So let's cut off a bit of brass. If you haven't really worked in brass before, I'll tell you what it's like. Feels harder than silver and gold. I'll cut off two bits and then we'll solder them together. Feels hard, but it's certainly no um, match for a saw blade. I can tell it's hard, just holding this long length, it's got a lot of rigidity to it compared to a equivalent in silver. Okay, filing. Yeah. Definitely feels hard compared to usual metals. Uh, what I'll, do, I'll join that, I'll put the end on there so it's like a little T, T shape. Clean this off. Yeah, it feels slippery because it's hard. <laughs> it's like a white paste, just like it says. I'm going to use a different brush just in case it balls up my normal one for some reason. There's no like skull and bones or corrosive warning signs on it. So I'm taking that as it's not that dangerous stuff. All right, I've been having trouble with my camera lately. I, I keep thinking I'm recording, but uh, I'm not. And I just realized it's the button, the camera's getting worn out after I've had the same camera for like three years. Stopping and starting it, making these videos is starting to wear out. It's lasted very well, but I need to watch that because I keep having to refilm scenes. So basically I just did a load of soldering and uh, soldered the brass and the ex explanations while I was doing it and it wasn't even recording. So I'm starting again. So yeah, chunky, chunky bit of paste. Uh, have to push them together. I was saying I didn't, didn't really like the pastiness. So it is a bit juicy at the bottom. I reckon if I add water, I might improve its workability. So I did that. I just adjusted my oxygen because I had a new cylinder and it was fitted for me yesterday and the guy set it up not at all how I like it. I like just under 0.02 MPA for the propane and 0.2 MPA for the oxygen. If you just connect that, everything works nicely. So there you go. The flux, this flux is really good, really effective. 
totally, look how clean that is. It's just spread over nicely and does its job really well. Yeah, I wanna practice with it a little bit just so uh, I know what's what when I'm working with it. Didn't come off, when I did it last time, didn't come off the brush, so I didn't bother trying that time, just put it on with tweezers. So what I might do is uh, try and solder a bit of copper after this. That'll really test the flux, because copper is such a dirty oxidizing metal. There you go, it's worked perfectly. All it is is the flux, all the troubles happened in the past. All just because the flux, couldn't get a flux to do its job properly. Well, it pulls through, other side, really nice. I've got this bit of copper out of my toolbox. Let's put a bit of flux on, see if it can keep it clean while it while I put heat on it. I won't bother trying to solder it, just, I think this will just tell us everything, everything we need to know. Staying clean, look. Did a really good job. Okay, so this this will work on copper then. So did say all purpose white flux, so it does appear to be uh, true. One thing I will say though, it's quite fumey heating up heating up brass and copper. It's like a lot of stuff coming off the metal, so it's a ventilation window open job, I think. Uh, anyway, cool, so that was it. Just wanted to show you my experience soldering brass. Totally possible, no problem at all, but the flux is really important, so white flux. <laughs> this is available in Japan, I don't know if you can get something similar. This is a white paste, all purpose flux, and works brilliant on copper based alloys. Anyway, cool, thanks for watching. If you don't mind clicking like, like and subscribe. Uh, all my videos are not usually kind of random like this, I am usually teaching uh, or reviewing. Uh, jewelry specific stuff so uh, yeah anyway click like subscribe help the channel grow and hopefully you join me again on the next upload see ya